Okay, another quick video time. So I'm going to just run over the basics of the robot again, the two different types, and then a little bit about cleaning. There's not much cleaning to do, to be honest. And pressure gauge kit for the video after this, because it deserves a video on its own. Uh, and then I'll take this one apart, just to show you how quick and simple it is. So obviously we have two models at the moment. We've got the, the green powder coat and the polished aluminium. And then both have the option of the pressure gauge system. <clears throat> okay, so basic parts, the base plate with a non-slip silicon ring, the main body, which is connected to the base plate with some socket head cap screws, the lever arms, piston, and then there's a silicon piston seal, a porter filter with a basket inside, which is still, still wet from my coffee earlier, the spouts, tamper and the dispersion screen okay so all so yeah so you would get this whole thing and then the double spouts will pull off okay there's a an o-ring press fit so the, the spouts are pressed into the the porter filter and they're held securely there uh, it's a system that we've been using for a number of years with uh, the, the more common larger porter filters. Materials, it'd be easier to, if we look at this one. Anything that's green on this model is die cast aluminium from our tooling. Absolutely everything else is stainless steel. Everything, the pins, the screws, the lever arms, porter filter basketry, etc. Okay, so the only thing the water and the coffee ever come into contact with is stainless steel and the silicon ring, okay, piston ring, which is made of FDA approved silicon, and we've been selling that for a number of years, and that's also tested independently by us here not here, but in Hong Kong by a, um, a company here. In fact, everything that comes into contact with the water, we will have independently tested, regardless of what a manufacturer, ma manufacturer or a factory will tell you, we always have them independently tested, okay? By a number of, there's a few specialist companies that do this, so everything we will have independently tested as well. Better to be safe than sorry. Um, quick, let me put that there. Put it there. So a quick rundown briefly of the function. You lift the lever arms up, the piston goes up into the main body, and then it comes down into the basket with the coffee, the screen, and then the water on top. So the basket is actually the brewing chamber as well. Okay, so, yeah. So you lift it up, piston goes up into the body, comes down. Very simple. In fact, that's the whole point of the robot, is we try and keep everything as simple as possible. The fewer the parts, the better. And that, I'll talk about that again later with the pressure gauge system. Um, so the pressure gauge system will deserve a video on its on its own. Okay, so I've done the materials. Cleaning, again, there's absolutely nothing to clean, really. You knock out the coffee puck, like I've shown in a number of videos, which is exactly the same as a commercial machine, you get lovely dry pucks coming out. 
And then, so that's what you're left with on, this is the, the supermarket coffee. So, if you're using the professional basket, you will get lovely dry pups and they'll just plop out. And you, so you rinse this, maybe, you know, with, with under the tap or get a damp cloth and wipe it. Very easy. The face of the piston may also have some water or possibly a few coffee granules on the face of the piston. Again, all you would need to do, just wipe it with a cloth. That, that's it. The seal, occasionally I, I would just, again, wipe it with a cloth. You don't need to do anything to this. There's no lubricants or anything that you, you would need to, uh, to use. I mean, it wouldn't hurt if you had some silicon grease to rub it on there occasionally, just a tiny little bit. But I found, you know, since I've been using the prototypes for a couple of years, I haven't done anything to them, to be honest. Tamper, again, you just wipe, screen, rinse under the tap. Now, when it comes to dishwashers, there is absolutely nothing on here that should ever go in the dishwasher. This, certainly not the body. I'm sure if you put the polished aluminium in the dishwasher, it would look terrible when it came out. Okay, so you don't need to put anything in the dishwasher. By all means, well, I mean, most certainly the portafilter, filter, the basket, the screen, they could take it absolutely no problem. But again, there's just no reason to do it at all. A simple rinse, because it's stainless steel, you just wipe off the oils with a cloth. And yeah, so w w there is one thing I wanted to, yeah, so we used to have a cast logo here. We have a cast logo on the bottom and we kept that, but the one on the front we had to lose because when we added the powder coat, which we weren't going to do originally, so when we added the powder coat, the logo went a bit fuzzy, so we got rid of that. So that's probably the, um, if you've got eagle eyes, you may have spotted that. That's just recent, these only came in a few days ago. And yeah, very simple. And I try and, when we first made this, some of the parts were aluminium, the basket, uh, not the basket, sorry, the porta filter, the piston. And then I got thinking, mm, that's not where we wanted to go. We wanted to, to take a product that was, these were around in the 50s, these style of home coffee makers. There were a number of companies that made them and then they fell out of fashion. So there's no point in trying to bring it back without trying to modernize it as well modernize it but to keep the original soul of the product which is very simple so we've modernized it with stainless steel pieces stainless steel piston so everything's clean and um, with a view to improving the performance as well so it may be stainless steel and you may be thinking, hang on a minute, stainless steel is going to remove a lot of the thermal energy from the water. Um, so that's what I've been working on for a couple of years, trying to improve the performance, uh, work with the, the casting company to make these parts as thin as they can possibly be, but strong enough to perform. And of course, stainless steel is strong enough Okay, so what I would like to do now is I'll try and reposition the camera then I'll take this apart and show you the components in a bit more detail and so you don't need to look at my face anymore, okay?